You know, I, I came across an article, and actually there was one uh, perhaps, I don't know, about a month ago that I happened to see. This is a case where a high school student was arrested for organizing denial of service attacks against his high school. And uh, this is actually a trend that we've been seeing, so I wanted to make sure that uh, it was, uh, you know, basically brought out into the public that uh, more and more we're seeing denial of service attacks against school systems. And, and John, you actually had uh, made it, uh, an observation. Yeah, I made a quick observation because we had been seeing this over time. And uh, I did a quick just look at our uh, DNS amplification reports. And in the February March time frame, there was no schools listed in there. But in the uh, April May time frame, there right. were attacks against schools. So, you know, I think there might be some coordination there around when these online tests are being, because it's kind of towards the yeah. end of the year. That's probably when these tests will get taken. And uh, that's why the, there's the motivation there to attack so that they don't have to take the test, basically. Yeah. So in this particular case, it, it wasn't exactly clear what the motivation of the attack was, but they did point out that it happened to be during the standard achievement testing right. period. And the claim was that they caused the school system to lose the tests and the results data, and the students were required to actually redo their exams. Uh, I'm, you know, it's, it's, it's a little hard to imagine how a denial of service attack could do this. There might have been some other things, but, you know, perhaps they were able to pin the denial of service attacks. It, there was apparently an investigation. We're able to trace that back to, uh, uh, to this individual and, and subsequently arrested them. Uh, like I said, I think there was another case that I read about uh, perhaps a month or so ago in North Carolina similar kind of situation where uh, a student was arrested for perpetrating denial of, service attacks, denial of service attacks against their school system. So in any case, the, the point being here, if you are responsible for a school network or even maybe you want to check with your school system to see if they have a good plan against attacks, particularly if your student's subjected to online testing. I know uh, there have been a lot of discussions about students being sort of stressed out about tests. There's no use in prolonging that stress. Uh, in any case, uh, you know, some basic things that should be done. First of all, separate websites from other network resources. You wouldn't, you know, if the testing program is in one place, perhaps, uh, or a website that might uh, be uh, attempted to be attacked for some reason, try to separate that from other uh, critical resources that you might need for communicating or just operating the school system, for example. Uh, uh, just have a mitigation strategy. You know, it could be you, you subscribe to a scrubbing service or you just black hole the attack so that it doesn't uh, have a direct impact on other things or just ride it out. I mean, that's a perfectly legitimate solution, but you need to kind of have some you know, at least some plan in place for doing that. And then uh, nextly, uh, just have a plan in terms of public relations, how you respond to the event, um, whether you're going to, you know, uh, solicit an investigation, that sort of thing. So having a plan doesn't really take very long to do. It requires some forethought, and uh, perhaps a lot of school systems haven't really put a lot of thought into it yet. I think it's uh, something that really needs to be done. And when all else fails, just have a couple of boxes and number two pencils and some Scantron forms and you'll be good to go. Yeah. Right? The old ways still work. Like we did in the we 70s. Didn't we, didn't have, we didn't have any <laughs> online tests. Make sure it's a number two pencil. Right. Fill in the dot all, yeah. all the way. Yeah.